in this video, I am walking you through how to create a daily study schedule. This will be helpful whether you're taking classes online or when you're just home studying all day. It's so important to have a consistent schedule and plan to follow so you can make awesome grades in nursing school. So I'm gonna give you all of my best tips for staying productive while studying at home. So hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell and let's dive in. So the first thing you really need to do is make a physical planner and write out everything you need to do. And if you've been around for a while, you know that I always say that an hour by hour schedule is the best way to go. This is when you literally plan your time out hour by hour. You'll plan what you'll do and when you'll do it. So it's all down on paper. If you're a Nursing SOS member, we have a printable planner with this hour by hour schedule included for for you to download and print off. If you're not a member, don't worry. You can just write it all out in a notebook. Just make sure that you literally write it out from 12 a.m. in the morning all the way until 11.59 at night. It needs to run the full 24 hours. So you'll be scheduling in when you'll sleep, when you'll eat, when you'll study, everything. We'll get to that in just a minute. Now the next thing you'll do is to make a to-do list and put it in order of priority. It's important to prioritize all of the things that you need to get done so that you're doing the most important things first. This is a big trap that we can fall into. We want to do the things that are the most fun to do first, right? But not necessarily the most important. So what ends up happening is that you finish those easy care plans first, even though they're due next week, and you don't end up studying for your tough or difficult exam that's tomorrow. That's backwards. So it's important that you make a list of everything you need to get done and put Put it in order of priority and then you'll take that prioritized list and use it when you're filling out your hour by hour schedule. Do you have care plans to write? Fantastic. Put it down on your schedule. Do you have an exam to study for? That's awesome. Decide when you'll study for it and write it down on your schedule. Every hour of your schedule should have something in it. And it doesn't all have to be school related. Actually, it shouldn't be. So you'll absolutely need to schedule in time to sleep and eat and take care of yourself. So write down when you're gonna shower, if you're gonna take a walk or go outside to stretch, or maybe go play with your dog or your kids. Just make sure that you have everything down on your schedule, school related or not. I also want to make sure that you get the free nursing school study checklist we have for you that walks you through my top study tips for how to save time studying while also getting good grades. We'll put the link down below in the description box for you to download that. It will help you a ton with cutting your study time down while also learning everything that you need to learn in nursing school so you have more time to play with your kids or go for a walk and aren't just cooped up studying all day long in your house. Now that you know how to make a daily schedule, let's walk through some other tips that will be super helpful for you as you create your study schedule. The first tip is to create a consistent schedule or routine. Now set a specific time for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and plan for when you're going to study, when you're going to play with your kids, and when you're going to sleep. Also, make sure that you wake up at the same time each day. It's so easy to want to sleep in when you know that you get to stay home all day, right? <laughs> well, unless you have kids that wake you up like I do. <laughs> so just make sure that you're waking up at a consistent time each day. That will really help you feel more in control of your day from the get go. But with all that said, it's really important that you stay flexible and plan for things not going <laughs> As you had planned them. Sometimes kids get sick or need more of your attention or professors change a deadline and things get moved around. That's totally fine. Things happen, life happens, and we just need to roll with them. 
So make a schedule, yes, but also know that it can change any time. It's totally okay. You can handle anything that life throws at you. Now my next tip is super important and one that I did not follow for the longest time and really should have. But before we dive into that, I want to give a shout out to our YouTube comment of the week. This one comes from Mindy and she says, thank you so much for the information. This is my first semester in nursing school. We can do this. <laughs> I'm also a member of Nursing SOS. I can't wait for the case studies video next week. Awesome, yay, Mindy. I am so glad you're a Nursing SOS member and are loving our resources that we have for you. I am all in on helping you rock nursing school. I am so happy that you're here. And that case studies video is up. So friend, if you haven't watched it, make sure to check it out. We'll pop up a card and put the link in the description for you to check out after you watch this video. Now my next tip is to make sure that you shower and get dressed every day. I've been working from home for about three years now, and in the beginning, yes, it was fun to just stay in yoga pants all day, but I'm here to tell you that I'm so much more productive when I've had a shower and put real pants on. Now, my husband actually read me this tweet from John Acuff, who said, I've worked from home for seven, seven years. Here's some free advice if you never have. Start the day with a shower and then dress like you normally would for work. I love pajama pants too, but they're a breeding ground for depression. Flannel feels like failure by day three. And I totally agree. It is so important to get dressed in the morning, even if you are staying home and the only thing that's going to see you that day is your dog. My non-negotiable is my lashes. Every day I put on lashes. I may not do my full makeup and hair, but if I have my lashes on, Man, I am ready to take on the world. <laughs> so I really recommend that you set those non-negotiables for yourself to help you feel more empowered and ready for the day. Now, the next tip I have for you is to schedule in your study time whenever you can. It can be really hard to focus on studying when you're at home, especially if you have kiddos at home with you too. So it's really important to give yourself grace and schedule your study time in whenever you can can, even if it's in small chunks at a time. If you study for 20 to 30 minutes throughout the day, that can add up to a lot of study time by the end of the day. Now in the next video, I'll be giving you my top tips to help you study at home with kids. As a work from home mama myself, I really understand how challenging it can be to get things done and stay productive when you have kids at home, especially little kids. So I'm giving you all of my best tips in the next video. Now make sure that you've hit the bell so that you get notified when that video goes up. You don't want to miss it. Now make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share share this video with a friend and click on one of these videos right here so you can keep rocking nursing school and friend as always go become the nurse that God created only you to be and I will catch you in the next video take care